my darlings, how are you doing today on this spooktacular day that ends in Y? I've got this very ethereal yet spooky, mask-friendly makeup tutorial for you for the third look of the 13 days of Halloween. So if you'd like to see how I created this spooky pretty thing, then uh, stay tuned and let's do this. Hello, naked potato face, cleaned and moisturized, and now I'm gonna prime it with something very glowy. I'm using the Becca First Light Primer mixed with Max Hyper Real Foundation in gold effects, just to really make my face look ethereal and kind of pretty. Then I'm going in with NARS's Sheer Glow Foundation in Light 2 Mont Blanc, and just doing a light coverage to even out my skin tone, you know. And then I'm going in with Milk Makeup's Flex Concealer in the shade Creme and focusing that on the inner corners of the eye and some of the under eye area, but I just want to make sure everything's even before going in with Urban Decay's Lo-Fi Lip Mousse in the shade Fade on that sponge. And I am coloring the perimeter of my face, starting at the cheekbones and going up towards the temples. I just want to add a whole bunch of color and flush to the face. So I'll do the other side. And then I'm going to do the neck as well, just to tie everything together. And after that, I'm gonna do my brows off camera. I will have the dis everything listed in the description box below. Next, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Free Burgundy. And I'm focusing that on the outer one half of the lower lash line and then bringing it slightly in to the inner corner and then also creating a little curve up above the crease of the inner corner on the top of the eyelid. Uh, kind of like that. So do it to the other eye. And you should get something like that. I also brought it in to the lower inner corner, if that makes sense. But I'm also going to then build up the intensity and blend it out and build it up and blend it out. After that, I'm taking the Melt Cosmetics Blur Eyeshadow, which is something similar to my skin tone. So if you're doing this on a different skin tone to me, then just, you know, pick an eyeshadow that matches. And I'm just diffusing the edges and helping create a gradient. After that, I'm taking the Melt Cosmetics Impulse Palette and the shade Boss Lady, which is very similar to the color of my dress. And I am intensifying the outer lower half of my under eye area. I'm really trying to create a kind of downturned eye, so it looks kind of sad, so I'm focusing it more and bringing it down, and then I'm also intensifying that upper crease inner bit thing. I really don't know what to call it, but it's just a inner crease contour shade. Do the other side. Um, before I forget, I am then going to take a fluffy, clean blending brush and just make sure that there aren't any harsh lines or edges or anything. I want everything to be as diffused and kind of smooth. For the lower lash line, you want to do small little circular motions towards your cheekbone to kind of bring that color down. And we want to bring it down more than out. So you should get something like that. And to really oomph it up, I'm bringing the shade Dark Matter, also from Melt Cosmetics, in which is just a matte black and a pencil brush, and I'm focusing that on the outer lower corner to kind of create this uh, filled in a capitalized A, because you want to make it turn down, so you're trying to make as much shadow on that outer corner as possible and kind of extend your lower lash line. I'm then blending it underneath my eye bag, and I'm also intensifying the shading up on the inner crease bit as well as just a little bit on the lower inner corner. After that, I'm taking a liner brush and I'm filling in my lashes on the outer corner to really sell the curve. I don't know if it makes sense, but it makes sense to me. So if you have any questions, feel free to like leave them in the comments and I will help the answer and stuff. Next, I'm going back in with blur and just you know, blending, making sure everything's diffused before going in with the shade Boss Lady again and just kind of intensifying anywhere that I feel like I've lost pigmentation. After that, I'm taking the eyeliner pencil again and I am lining the lash line as close to the lashes as I can get. After that, I'm taking the shade Classic, which is a very yellowy pale shade and I am just putting that all over the blank space on the mobile lid area and trying to carve out 
that outer edge to really sell the curve and the downturn before going in and putting some on my brow bone and filling in the inner corner. So once that is done, I am going to do the other eye off camera and then come back and fill in with a pretty shade. This is the Makeup Forever Starlet Powder in the shade 05 mixed with some Inglot Duraline. And I'm just putting that down everywhere we put Classic. Because Classic was kind of the base since the Starlet shades are pretty transparent. I'm also putting this as a highlight just to be ethereal. And on the ears because you can't forget the ears. Don't forget the ears. The ears need some love too. After I'm done highlighting, I'm going to do my lashes off camera. I'm using the House of Lashes and Sephora Camilla lashes, and I'm going to start applying them right, if I look straight ahead, they're gonna be on the edge right of my iris on the inner corner, so that it really elongates the eye and brings it down. But yeah, this is the finished look if you wanna be something cute and sweet and whatever, but it's spooky season. So we're gonna add some veins using the NYX Cosmetics Vivid Brights Cream Color in the shade Bad Blood mixed with Inglot Duraline to kind of um, dilute it a little bit and also give it some more staying powder. So I'm using a really fine artist brush. You could also use a nail brush. Um, but I'm creating these little jiggledy lines as veins. Did the other eye off camera. You can do as many veins as you want. You can leave the veins off. I like the veins, the veins are creepy. I'm also adding some on my lips, not that you can see it once I have the mask on, but it's just for funsies. Funsies. And this is the finished makeup. To finish off the look, I am going to wear a necklace that I made many, many years ago and take my hair down and give it a little zhuzhing, and yeah. But the main thing, the reason why we did this makeup is so that we can wear it with a mask. This is a mask that I made. It's a very spooky themed mask. Masks are important because we're still living in a pandemic. So you can match your mask to whatever. If you have a black mask, you could do a cat or a bat or, you know, the world is so full of possibilities. Plus you're staying safe and helping your fellow human. So wear a mask, please wear a mask. Anyway, this is the finished look with everything on. I really like how the mask works with the eye makeup. One of the best things about Halloween is that you can literally add a mask to everything and you're not only keeping things safe, but you're also being spooky. For my eyes, I could have gone and did a zombie with this or a mummy or somebody from Silent Hill, but yeah. Do me a favor and leave a comment below with what kind of mask you are going to be wearing with your Halloween costume or what kind of Halloween costume you're gonna be wearing with your mask. I'll have all the details listed in the description box below and over on my blog as always, which you should totally check out because it is still the 13 days of Halloween. So I've got the giveaway going on right now and I'll have a card in the card area that you can click on and it'll take you right to it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me and if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe and like this video if you like this video. And I will see you tomorrow. Know that I think you are awesome. And I love you guys so, 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 so much. Bye. Don't forget to stay positive and be awesome. Because you are freaking awesome. True story. Bye. If you liked what you see and want to see more from 13 Days of Halloween, go ahead and click that center playlist card thing right there on the screen. And check out the other looks and subscribe for more looks. And if you want to become a Patreon patron and get early access as well as other goodies, go ahead and click the little pumpkin right there. See you tomorrow!